Hey there, YouTube. This is Mr. Lubufu, and I am here with uh, continuing my set review. Uh, this time we're going with blue. So let's just go ahead and hop right in. We have Aeronaut Tinker. So it has flying as long as you control an artifact. There are a few artifacts in this set, um, and it's okay. A 2 3 flyer for 3 is a typical going rate, so it seems alright. Ether Spout seems like a complete. Uh, by the way, my focus is on primarily limited when I go over these cards. Ether Spout seems like a card that could just blow people out ridiculously and limited. Um, something to keep your eyes out for. Amphin Path Mage. It's a 3 2 for 4, so that's, uh, you know, that's fine. But it has the 3 mana target creature can't be blocked this turn. And that can that really is good at blowing past um, uh, board stalls, which I think can happen in this set. There's a lack of a lot of good removal. He's also a salamander wizard. Like, come on. Creature types. Awesome. We have Chasm Skulker, which is 3 mana 1 1. Whenever you draw a card, put a counter on him. When it dies, you put a million. Not a million. You put X squids with island walk, where X is the number of counters. Um, Chasm Skulker seems okay. Uh, in limited, it seems like it can get out of hand really fast. So people are most likely going to uh, try and kill it pretty fast. But if it doesn't, it gets out of hand. And uh, and people don't have an answer. Chief Engineer, I think, is not going to be as good as limited as it will be in constructed formats. Um, but it seems like it can be playable in some random artifact deck. Chrono Sutter is really slow. Like, six mana, really slow. Coral Barriers, okay, it's a one three for three. Uh, which, in this format, there's a lot of three, three power guys. And it also puts a 1-1 one, one squid into play, so it's okay. I'm not that impressed with it. Diff diffusion Sliver, um, as I said before, or in my prior videos, the slivers are completely unplayable in this limited format, so this card's pretty bad. Um, Dissipate, solid reprint, glad it's back. Um, best counterspell in the format, or in this M15 format. Uh, Divination, solid reprint. Encrust, I've always been disappointed with Encrust. It never, it never does whatever I want. Um, I just want claustrophobia every time. And soul artifact can get out of hand again. If you have artifacts, you see this. There's this sort of artifact sub theme running around. And slapping this on an ornithopter is a serious clock in this format. We have frost links, which is okay. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a bear that comes into play and um, taps down a creature for one turn. It's completely playable. Fugitive wizard. I I hate one ones for one. I just can't stand them in limited. And this card's just not impressive. Glacial Crasher. I mean, it's a 5-5 Trample for 6. It just can't attack as long as there's a mountain. It's very good if you're in blue-red. Um, but otherwise, eh, it's okay. It's strong enough. I've never been impressed with Hydro Surge. I think it's very, very bad. Illusory Angel is very good if you're able to cast another spell. Um, and you can do it with just some sort of cheap, cheap spell. So I think this card... And it's a 4-4 Flyer. And there's very few flyers in this format that can stand up to this um so i think this card is very strong into the void was very very good in avison restored um i think it's also very very good in this format invisibility can't be blocked except by walls which you know you can tell that this is a reprint because of that wording and there are quite a few walls running around so this is not as unblockable as you would think um it it, it can be okay though again lack of a lot of solid removal. Jace the Living Guild Pact, I'm going to stay out of the discussion for constructed formats. I think he's completely playable in constructed, despite what people think. Um, he's just, he, between him and Jace Architect of Thought, they, they both do well on different board states, and so they each do different things. Um, but in limited, he's very, very good. He demands an answer, and if the opponents can't kill him, you just win the game. Jace's Ingenuity, uh, this is our card draw. And it's it's a fair card. Draw three cards for five mana and instant speed. It's fine. Julia Master Polymorphous. I'm not sure how it'll behave in limited, um, but it can be it can be fun at least. Drew by Merc Lurcher. So the, this is part of the uh, the enemy cycle. Um, it can become a, a two four. So you know efficient efficient for three mana and target creature gets lifelink. 
The fact that it's target creature can get out of hand really nice. I actually like this card if you are in blue-black, but that's true of the whole cycle. If you're not in the other color, it's disappointing. Capsho Kite Fins, 6 mana, 3-3 three, three flyer, so it's a little bit over-costed for your 3-3 three, three flyer, but it taps a creature when it or another creature enters the battlefield. I think it's okay. Um, Master of Predicaments, on the other hand, big 4 power flyer for 5 mana, you can get more value from. This card's really good. Really good and limited. Mercurial Pretender is the blue pre-release card, and it's... Fine. The fact is that you only get to clone your own creatures, so that is something to keep in mind. You do get the ability to rebuy, which is fine. Um, so I think it's okay. Military intelligence is a card that I really enjoy. Um, in limited or constructed, I think this card has a lot of potential. Mind sculpt, sure. If you want to go the mill deck, otherwise don't play it. Negate. Glad to see this reprinted. It's okay. Nimbus of the Isles, here's our 5 mana 3 3 flyer. It's fair. Um, like I said in the, in the other videos, I love the Paragons. Um, and this is probably one of the strongest ones. Giving a blue creature flying till end of turn can get really good. So I, I really enjoy this card. I think it's very, very strong. Peel from Reality is okay. Um, it's very tempo heavy. And now we come to my favorite card in this entire set, Polymorphist's Jest. Oh my god, so many frogs. Until end, of cre until end of turn, each creature target player controls loses all abilities. It becomes a blue frog with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. It's so wonderful. I love turn to frog. And this is just all the turn. Ah, oh, this card. I love this card so much. You have no idea. I just want to play with this card always. We have Quickling. That's a two mana flash flyer, which is okay, but you have to bounce another creature you control to its owner's hand in order for it to be decent. Uh, Research Assistant is a very, very expensive looter. I don't like it. It's so expensive. Soul of Ravnica is insane because it's a giant flyer. You don't even need to use the abilities, and even if you do, it's much better. Statute of Denial, another counter spell in the set. Um, so it is important to keep that in mind if they're just sitting up with four mana open, they're blue. Stormtide Leviathan, if you ever get the chance to cast it in limited, you're winning. Um, probably. But it's really, really, really slow. So it depends how the format is. Turn to Frog, favorite flavor text ever for me. And it could be a pretty solid card. I, I love the, uh, the effect. Void Snare is fine. It's an unsummon in this format basically at sorcery wall of frost is a card that's really really hard to beat in limited uh on the ground because it just blocks all day every day and then your creature doesn't untap so it's strong card and lastly good old welkin turn um it's 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 a decent card i mean it's a vaporkin effect so it's it's more than playable Anyway, that's it for Blue. Thank you guys all for watching, and be sure to check out the other part.